guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things in my tiny house that I have a love-hate relationship with. I live with these things every day, so naturally these things are going to either frustrate me or I'm going to enjoy them. Living in 224 square feet is challenging at times, so that's why this video is being created so you guys can see the actual things that I go through when I'm living my everyday life. Things I've come to love and things I've come to hate and they're actually the same things. Let's get to it. Number one is the ladder in my business office. So I'm in my business office now and I've got a ladder that goes up to the cat loft. Things I love about this ladder, I can do the litter box easily without having to go upstairs in my room, go on the catwalk and get into the cat loft. The cats use it daily, all three of them. They climb up it, they climb down it, they sit on it, they play on it. It's actually very convenient for them. Things I hate about it. When I am working, I have my desk that sits right here and I have this chair. It used to hit the back of the ladder. I decided to put this plastic container here to add more herbs for my business expansion. And now the chair hits that. When moving around the ladder, I am constantly knocking into it, knocking my hips, knocking the doors off of my handmade little cubby holes that I made. They're put together with Velcro and I'm constantly hitting those they get knocked off. It's just in the way. Although it's something I hate, it's something I love and it'll probably stay. Number two is my dehumidifier. Don't get me wrong, I love my dehumidifier and the reasons I love it is because it takes away the humidity in my house. My meters now read 42 to 55 at times, but I keep the level of the dehumidifier at 50 or 60 percent, so it does its job. The reason I hate it is because whenever I go into the bathroom, it is so hot in there. It's muggy, it's hot, and I don't understand why. I guess it's just the unit pushing out warm air but it's uncomfortable when I have the air on, it's just uncomfortable. Surprisingly, I have not had to empty the dehumidifier daily like I used to. I used to keep it on auto, and that's one of the things I hated was having to empty that pan every day, but now I'm emptying it every five or six days. It, it fills up very slowly if you have it set to 50 or 60, so it's no longer something I hate. If I empty it every five or six days, then that's not a problem, so again, that's something that I no longer hate about it. I'm actually loving the fact about that. So add that to the love list. Number three is going to be my composting toilet. I have a separate composting toilet and the things I love about it are the fact that it saves a ton of water, it is easy to clean, it is easy to change out, and it is easy to use. So these are the things I love about the separate composting toilet. Got a couple videos showing how to clean the inside, what you have to do about all that nasty stuff you guys can check out that video right there now the things I hate about it it does smell so there I don't know if it's because again I don't have a strong enough fan I have changed out the fan and made it stronger so I'm hoping that most of the scent is going up but honestly I can still smell it I can smell it when I change it apparently the Gnats can smell it because there's gnats back there too. Gotta remember if there's any liquidy waste, you have to take care of that in some manner. Uh, it's not like it's a nature's head where you can put like peat moss or something in there. So, And diatomaceous earth is actually not helping anymore. So I need some kind of deterrent to put on the waste back there so that bugs aren't attracted to it. And I don't know what to do. Bugs are a problem, smells are a problem, and mold. Or if it's wet back there in any kind of way, if urine gets back there, if you have liquidy waste, mold starts to form green, fuzzy, white stuff. I've seen it all. So it happens. It's not like you can put vinegar back there. So you basically have to take it out right away. This is one thing I hate about the toilet. It's making me use another plastic bag, taking it out earlier than I want to because I want to save up a whole month worth. But the gnats are attracted to the mold. The gnats are attracted to the smell. So it's like you want to just get that out of there and take it to the garbage and start a fresh new bag. But you can't do that every time you go to the bathroom because it's usually 
once a day. These are the things I love and hate about my composting toilet. Number four, I have a love-hate relationship with the pillows on my bed. I took a viewer suggestion and took all of my throw pillows and put them up on my bed to get them out of the office and out of the living area. I loved the fact that this gave me more room in my office. It gave me more room in my living area. I love the fact that I could make whisper forts because she is afraid of the lightning and thunder so I make forts for her and she'll hide in there. I like how it blocks the window because I I'll like spread them across the window and it'll black out the light because I do have a porch light there so say it's at night and that light is on the pillows black out half of that light. More things I love about the pillows is that they are decorative. They go with my design in my tiny house. They were my decor for my couches so I will put them back on the couches once I get a proper living area because right now it's an office and my couch bed storage in the living area is actually being used for storage. I also love the fact that I can use them as padding for when I move. So I stuff my cabinets with these pillows because that they'd all be falling all over the place upstairs when the house is moving, so why not stuff them in the cabinets where there's breakables and then that's the padding for it not to move. Other than putting towels in between, you know, dishes and stuff like that, the pillows help big time when it comes to padding for moving. Things I hate about these pillows is that every time I go to change my bedding, I have to take them all off. They have to go in my only space in my bedroom which is on that little area of floor so it just it piles up it takes up all this room it's just not fun they're always in the way on my bed I'm always kicking them I'm always moving them and rearranging them <laughs> even though it's just me and I sleep on one section of the bed if I want to spread out boom there I kick a pillow they fall on me and then I don't want it on me and it falls on my head and it's just, these are things that I hate about those pillows. <laughs> Number five is I have a love-hate relationship with my pantry. So I've got a pantry in my storage staircase as well as a triangle pantry. I got this for a bunch of food thinking that I was going to need it. Things I love about it, it is extra storage if I do need it. The shelves are fixed in the big cabinet. However, I don't eat much stuff in there, but I do love that it's good storage. Things I hate about this pantry is that it's big storage. My hoarder mind is able to stuff as much stuff as I want in there, but the problem is, what I don't like about it is that each time I need something in there, I have to pull everything out. So I have to sit on the floor, open the door, take everything out to get to that one thing that's all the way in the back. It's a big pantry, but the shelves are deep inside there, so... I can stuff a lot of crap in there. I have business stuff in there, so whenever I make some products, I keep some of my powders in there. I just, I have to take everything out to get to the basket. So I've been given a ton of suggestions on how to remedy this, and I'm still working on those things, such as like adding rollers and having rollers come out, trying to use different baskets. I've got like two or three in there. So yeah, my pantry is a, a struggle. I love it, but I hate it. Number six is going to be my desk area. So in my business office, I have a desk. I used to have the couch bed storage against the back wall and I was like working on like a, a food tray and then sitting on the couch bed storage, I was getting back braces and stadium seats in order to, you know, be more comfortable. Then somebody suggested a desk and a chair. I took the couch bed storage out of here and got this proper setup. So what I love about this is that I am actually comfortable sitting in my seat. I am um, no longer in pain. I haven't been in pain for the longest time because I'm in this ergonomic chair. Things I hate about this desk area is the fact that I don't have much space to put stuff. Rocky always lays on the side of it and he takes up my arm room. The computer constantly unplugs because it's the cords are run back behind the the desk so that all the cords are out of the way, but it's constantly unplugging. It just collects clutter in general. I've started to put stuff on the back windowsill because I have no room on the desk. The chair bumps into all the stuff all around it, and this has nothing to do with the ladder. It just bumps into the plastic thing. It bumps into everything. I don't like the fact that this chair has arms. I thought about selling this chair and getting a different one, but I will wait till later to do that or just put this in one of my other houses or in storage or something when I get my land. 
those are my love and hates for the desk area. Number seven is my kitchen flip up counter. So I've got a butcher block countertop. It goes all the way to the wall and connected to the sink, connected to the cabinets and stuff. But then I got this flip up counter that is about two feet by two feet. There's a couch bed storage that's right next to it and that's supposed to be my seat for it. And the flip up counter is basically more space and a spot for me to eat. Things I love about this counter is that it's extra storage room. There's not enough space with that counter down. So putting it up adds two feet of counter space both deep and long and it's a lot easier to use with it up. Another reason I love this flip up counter is because with my business Goddess of Herbs I get to make my hundreds of products on this counter. Not having that up I wouldn't be able to use that space. I'd have to do smaller steps at a time because there's not much that I'm working with so adding that two feet of counter space is actually beneficial when it comes to my business. Things I hate about that counter is that it's held in by a screw or like a little latch and every time I put weight on it so if I am using it for extra storage and there's weight on it it's basically makes it heavy makes it almost unsafe I sometimes knock into it it just gathers clutter and with my hoarder mindset it's something I'm trying to get away from so I actually did something more recently and cleared off a couple other things on my counter so it also so seems to conceal the garbage can and the cat area well when it's down you can, it's big and it's open and you can see all that stuff under there it's basically out of sight out of mind because you're above the counter if it's up so you can't really see the stuff under it I've got plans for that area in the future so maybe it will go down or maybe I can even unhook it and take it off and just get you know gain that kitchen space so we'll see number eight is my junk drawers now I have three different junk drawers I know, mindset of a hoarder again. Even in my apartment, I had one or two junk drawers. Things I love about junk drawers, they, it's an area to put all of that little knickknacky stuff, that little the tedious stuff like matches or extra key things or a screw, tape, pens, you know, little notebooks, extra lip balms, whatever. I, you know, I'll put my notepads in there. My cat's play stuff is in there. Their brushes are in there. I love the fact that that junk drawers come in handy. They, they hide that clutter from the world, even me. But it does come in handy when you need that paper clip or that rubber band or even you know a pen or a marker I don't use markers often but I keep them in the junk drawer if I need them things I hate about <laughs> my junk drawers are the fact that they're always getting cluttered the fact that I use them as a catch-all for all of that little stuff and when you go to use it or you need something specific in there and you've just piled all of your extra crap that you found around the house on top of all of that now you have to take it all out I'm constantly decluttering the junk drawers and it's one thing I hate about it I'm able to constantly reorganize those drawers and that helps me I guess on my hoarderism basically challenging me to keep less in there and if not declutter it each time yep those are my love and hates for my junk drawers number nine is going to be my sheer curtains so I've got 19 windows in my tiny house and I wanted light to come into my tiny house I know that living in a smaller square footage of space can be dark if you don't have many windows windows. Some people don't like all that light, but I wanted a smaller space to look brighter by adding the sheer curtains. I got the idea from the decorator at my builders. She was decorating the houses with sheer curtains, so I kind of took her idea. The houses look great when they decorate them, so I still love them for that reason, that they bring in the light. I love them for the fact that they make the space look bigger, so not only is it not dark in here, it just makes the space look bigger, brighter, more spacious. Uh, a lot of people have said, oh, your house is much bigger on the inside than I thought it was. Like, they'd see it on the outside and say, oh my gosh, that's probably really small on the inside. And then they come in and they're like, oh my gosh, this is, it's really like spacious in here. Things I hate about my sheer curtains. Since I have 19 windows, I've got to clean all of those sheer curtains. The other things I hate is the fact that you can see through one layer. So I had to buy two sets 
of sheer curtains for 19 windows. Now I have to clean two sets of sheer curtains. It's just a hassle. They collect dust. Another thing I hate is the fact that I have to open them daily in order to get, say, more light. I'll open, say, the first set so that I can get more light in here, but then keep the second set closed just so people aren't looking in or whatever. But if I wanted to do this on specific windows, I'm just constantly moving the sheer curtains. It's just one thing I don't like about them. It's not like they're blinds and I can like reel it up and just not mess with them for the rest of the day. But these are the curtains I chose and I really love them. I, I don't think I would replace them with anything else. Maybe blinds, maybe white blinds. I don't know. But again, that's more maintenance on 19 different sets of blinds. So I think I will keep the sheer curtains. Number 10 is going to be my bathroom storage cabinet. So I've got a three feet by two feet by two feet cabinet with three shelves. Things I love about this cabinet, it's that extra storage out of sight, out of mind. You can't see the stuff inside the cabinet. It's so it's closed storage. Things I hate about it, it's a catch all for more clutter. So I find myself trying to fit more in there to get it out of sight. It's irritating, it's annoying because if I need something in there, that I need, I have to, again, like the pantry, take everything out and get in there. So this has me decluttering and reorganizing all the time. Like I will stop what I'm doing, take everything out because I get so frustrated. So that is my love-hate relationship with my bathroom storage. Man, I could have came up with a lot more things that I have a love-hate relationship with in my tiny house. My catwalk, it's got mold on it, yet it's my favorite thing in the tiny house. Pros and cons, you gotta weigh your options on things that you add to your house. If any of these things can help you make different decisions during your builds, take note on some of the challenges that I had with the hates on the list. The fact that I didn't get rollout stuff for the pantries, so maybe if I've mentioned that that brings me difficulty, maybe you can fix that before you get your tiny house. You know, and things like, hey, don't get too many pillows. If you get a couch bed storage, instead of throw pillows, just get two pillows and keep them in the back or whatever. You can get, pull many ideas from this video, I hope. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Click the notification bell so you can receive a notification every time I post a new video, which is every Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Um, and I, you know, fill it, drain it every five or six days. That's, no, not drain it. If I, I like the fact that I'm up against this, don't put that. Excuse me. Don't put any of that. And then they come in and they're like, oh my gosh, this is, it's really like spacious in here, you know? So I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, don't put that. So take note on some of the challenges that 10 things that I hate and 10 things that I love. No, don't put that. I'm going to be draining it into the shower and hateful things. It is easy to clean. Hold on. More f***ing bugs. No, not more f***ing bugs. Don't put that either. So I'm going to be... Don't put that either.